What's up guys, this is Cody here, and you guys went absolutely crazy on that like button on the last perfect jailbroken setup video. So, of course I wanted to go ahead and make another one for you guys, and this took a ton of time because I went through a ton of different setups, I mean, ones that look completely different than this one, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit that like button on this video as well if you want to continue this series. And of course, all the wallpapers in this video are going to be posted on my Twitter, so make sure that you follow me on Twitter, I'll put a link in the description. Now I did pull a lot of inspiration from a user on Reddit by the name of VLGXO. So if you guys want to check out his post, it's not going to be the same setup as mine, but if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. But let's go ahead and get to the setup of this video. First, I want to start on the lock screen. So if we go to the lock screen here, you're going to see a few things at play. First of all, we have Lockliff installed right down here at the bottom, which you guys are probably familiar with by this point. And I'm actually using the same Lockliff theme that I used in my previous setup just because I think it's awesome. And it's called Kingdom Hearts Lockliff theme. So there's actually a repo that you have to add in order to get this. So I'll put it in the link in the description below for you guys. But we also right up here have a uh, groovy lock theme called Cataracts. So this is going to be some configuration involved. So you're going to have to actually add the temperature right up there as well as the date. And if you want the blurry effect inside of that square, then you're going to have to do that in iFile as well. So all this is going to be in the description showing you guys how to do it. Basically, you just follow a path in iFile and then edit a file that basically allows you to change things from true to false. Very self-explanatory. So just go there and edit it as you need to. Now for any other elements that I'm hiding here, I'm just using a tweak called Hide Me 8 or Hide Me 8 Lite. So you'll also notice when I swipe across right here that we're going to get a different look on the passcode screen. Now this is actually due to a tweak called Clocks Keypad. And then right up here at the top I've changed the text and this is due to a tweak called Hot Dog. So you just type in your passcode and we're on our springboard. So now that we're on our springboard, the first thing you're going to notice is probably the theme, which is Gotham Glyphs. So there's actually going to be a manual install for this, so I'll put that in the description for you guys and basically explain how to install it. Now, to actually move these icons around and place them wherever you want to, which is what I've done, I used a tweak called Anchor. So basically you can leave specific spaces open like I have over here for this widget. So in order to get this widget, you have to download iWidgets. And then once you have iWidgets, then you can just basically tap and hold anywhere on a blank space and it's going to give you uh, your widgets that you have installed right here. Now, the widget right here is actually called Ribbon iWidget and it's from the Zoo Boy 8 Winterboard theme. So you have to actually buy the Winterboard theme in order to get this widget. And again, I used Hide Me 8 in order to hide the icon labels for these applications, as well as hiding the wallpaper gradient. So it doesn't basically dim the background, which is kind of hard to tell just because it's a dark background, but I always have that turned off as well. Of course, you'll notice here if I open up the settings that we have no slow animations turned on, which is basically just going to speed up all your animations to make your phone just a little bit more snappy. And as you guys probably noticed, in the settings it looks completely different with that dark mode, and that's due to a tweak called Eclipse 2. Now to get these icons looking different right here, I'm actually using a tweak called Archetype, which is I think how you say it. And this is a winterboard theme, but basically all I'm doing is theming the archetype settings. So when you go into winterboard, you just select archetype settings, and it's going to give you these icons in the settings right here. Now if we go back to the springboard here and we open up the control center, you're going to notice a few different tweaks that I have at play here. One you're going to really notice is this basic album artwork that we have right here, and that's due to a tweak called Album Art Center. Now I also have rounded corners for the uh, control center there, and that's due to a tweak called Roundification. That's not only going to theme just the control center, it actually does the notification center as well. As you can see I pull that down, this is rounded as well. If I pull that back up, you'll also notice that I have uh, some text down here for the toggles as well as the quick launch applications and again that's due to the tweak archetype CC. Again this is a winterboard theme all you have to do is enable the CC part of the tweak standing for control center. Now to change this color to that red color I'm using uniformity 2 and the background right here is actually a tweak called CC background and I'll put that wallpaper for this background if you want to match it in the description for you guys. Now back here to the media controls, I'm actually using acapella and this is going to allow you to basically not have any media controls, it's all gesture based. So if I wanted to stop playing something, I would just tap it, you see you get that little pulse and that's going to pause it. Again if I tap it again, you'll hear that it's going to start playing. 
right there. And if you wanted to go to the next song or the previous song, you would basically just swipe left or right and you can see that that's gonna pop right back up. So it just looks really clean and I like it a whole lot better than the media controls. But if we go ahead and swipe that down, if we take a look at the status bar right up here, the indicators that I have over here on the left is actually due to the winterboard theme Zubhoy. So basically I'm just using the ZB8 Alt Status Bar Dash Solid. And that's going to be uh, one of those winterboard themes that you're gonna have to grab in order to actually use those specific indicators. Of course, there's not much else up here. Uh, I'm using either Protein or Hide Me 8 in order to hide those things, as well as right over here, you'll notice that on my uh, battery that I don't have anything except the number, and that's due to Hide Me 8. So I'm hiding the actual battery indicator, and I'm also hiding the percent sign. So it's literally just a number. Now, of course, I always wanna have that Do Not Disturb indicator up there, but basically, other than that, almost everything else is hidden, like Bluetooth, uh, location services, anything like that, I have it hidden just to keep it nice and sleek. Of course, the clock is also hidden just because I don't really need it since I have the clock in the widget right there and also have the date right here. And it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a uh, temperature right there as well over on the right hand side of that widget but it's pretty difficult to see with this background, but really that's not a big deal to me. Now, if you're playing music and you go to your lock screen, then what I have installed for that is actually spin. So the way that I have spin set up is I only wanted the text here. So what I did was change the Y axis for the spinner to like negative 500. So basically it's like way the heck up here rather than you know down here where I can actually see it. So I just think this looks a whole lot more minimalistic and I just think it looks pretty good. Now, of course, I also themed my messages. So if we go ahead and open that up, you can kind of see what I did here. Also, I'm using uh, messages customizer. So that's going to allow you to change the background of your messages as well as the color of these bubbles right here, which I probably want to make a little more uh, transparent than I have right now, but you know, still looks pretty good. And then right here, if I tap on messages, you'll notice that I'm using a new keyboard and this is Sleek Key. Now, if you're having issues with Sleek Key for any reason, then you probably either want to disable uh, Eclipse 2 or if you have Messages Customizer installed or anything, just make sure that you're not using that black or dark keyboard so it won't override your Sleek Key. So Sleek Key is actually not going to just take place in the uh, messages right there. You can see that it's going to work in the spotlight as well. Now, I almost forgot to mention the font, which is Aliquam Ultra Light. Of course, this is going to be for Bytefont 2, so you have to make sure that you have Bytefont 2 installed in order to install Aliquam Ultra Light. So that's basically it for this entire setup. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. That way that I know you guys liked it and all this time and effort that I put into, you know, making this entire setup is actually worth it. All right, guys, until next time, peace.